Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. We're starting off a series about body shapes. We've talked about style and personalities, yes. and that's been very informative. Too. We've had a lot of very positive responses to that, haven't mm -hmm. we, Kathy? Absolutely. People are you know, feeling assured, more confident when they understand how they shop, why they buy the things they do, and sometimes why they make the mistakes they do mm -hmm. fashion-wise as well. Or they listen to their friends too much, which it, yeah. don't have the same personality. We explored so many areas, and in this one too, I think you're going to find yourself in every one of them in some way. Mm -hmm. You're going to learn something from every one. But Elaine, Maybe you, Elaine Charon is our yes. expert here today <laughs> uh, and for the series. And maybe you can talk about why it's important to know your body shape. Mm -hmm. Well, a few reasons. First off, um, it makes your shopping journey that much easier, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. you, you will know what shapes to look for, what to <clears throat> maybe avoid because it's just not made to work for your shape. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, when a garment doesn't fit, the onus is not on you anymore you realize, wow, it's just the way the garment is cut. It's not for me moving right along. And then we blame ourselves, right? I mean, how come I don't look like the model in the picture or yes. in the magazine when you put something on? It's this is just the thing. Body. So you can mm -hmm. celebrate your shape. In yes. my case, I didn't know what I was. All I did was try clothes on, they didn't work, and I felt bad mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Once I learned what my body shape was, I now know how to celebrate me. Find out what your proportions are, and again, what shapes and proportion plays you can go to to flatter your shape. And when we're talking about flattering your shape, we're visually making your silhouette more balanced. Mm -hmm. Right, that's so, what we're doing. Right, yeah. so if you have a strong bust line, a broad shoulder, a fuller uh, hip line, everything is going to balance to make you look, as most women want to do, a little taller and more balanced. I'll say it again, we've said it so many times, you have one opportunity to make a first impression. So make it the best mm -hmm. by you feeling and looking your best. And when you when people come into a store, it's you know, it's if you know your sales consultant and you know your shape, you really like you say eliminate all that disappointment mm -hmm. yes. and that frustration mm -hmm. when you go to the shapes and the styles that suit you. Right. You look in the mirror and and you feel like you say you feel good about yourself. You feel, right. You've got that confidence and that helps you move through life. Another yeah. point I wanted to make is that many women are a mix of different shapes. Right. And we'll address that and hopefully you will recognize yourself in throughout our series. Yeah, yeah. or you'll learn something that you can direct somebody else to get the help that they need yes. <laughs> from yeah. this. So what's our first shape, Elaine? Well, it happens to be the hourglass, which both you well, and we, I yeah. are. Two hourglasses <laughs> sitting here. <laughs> And for the hourglass, we found that there is a lean hourglass and there is a rounded hourglass. Mm -hmm. So both you and I are going to illustrate the, the shape. Right, exactly. So everything on the rounded hourglass is a little soft, a little rounded, no angular shapes to speak of. Let's talk about talk the shoulder. So the shoulder is softly rounded. There's typically a little bit of fullness here in the upper arm, okay? The bust is full, is rounded as well, and if you measure it, it'll measure about the same as the hip will. What is the piece de resistance, the 24 karat gold for the hourglass in general, is the waist. So the waist is very indented. It's about eight to 10 inches smaller than the bust and the hips. Okay. Kathy, could I ask you to turn sideways here? So you're going to see here in the back is very important. Most hourglasses have a sway back. So as indented as the waist is in the front, it also is very much in the back. Getting garments to fit is sometimes a bit of an issue, especially for Kathy who's petite, because as you can see here, there's not a lot of prime real estate here in the upper body. The tush is typically rounded as well. And then in terms of the legs, you'll notice that they're typically shapely right here. You will notice with most hourglasses, if you take a pound or two, where does it go, Kathy? Right around here. Right around here. <laughs> so, so we're talking about the tummy, but any kind of weight gain will occur in terms of tummy from below the waist. A little bit of inner thigh fullness will typically is typically part of the hourglass shape as well, whether you're uh, rounded or not. And I'm a lean hourglass. So picture the round hourglass like Kathy and stretch her out. And this is what you get. So again, everything is a little rounded, nothing too angular here. And once more, 
the bust size is about the same measurement as the hip size. Okay? So, interesting note, for body shape purposes, we have three heights of hip. We have the high hip, which is where the hip bone is. A few inches lower is the mid hip, and then there's the lower hip, which happens to be, for a lot of women, where the widest part of the hip resides. That is where mine is. So that is what I call my challenging area. Just like the rounded hourglass, I have a sway in the back as well. So finding a top, a blouse, ladies, let me know if this happens to you, that fits at the front, not at the back. There's extra fabric, it gapes, it doesn't fit right. Happens to a lot of us if you're an hourglass. Again, that inner thigh bulge, something to contend with. You will have had that since you were five, six years old. It's just the way that your body is structured. And again, it's all about the tummy. Any extra little pounds will go right here. And again, that happens from right below the belly button. So that is in essence, the lean hourglass. So you can see that hourglasses can differ in by height mm -hmm. and by weight, by size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you're an hourglass, you're an hourglass. And it's powerful information. For me, it's been very powerful information because I've really learned to own my curves. Yeah. So now mm -hmm. we want to show people what it should look like when you dress your hourglass shape mm -hmm. appropriately. So here's Kathy in a Joseph Ripkoff dress. And Kathy, I know that you love Joseph Ripkoff. It seems to be cut for you. Well, as a petite and being curvy, somehow the fabrics Ripkoff works with and the way they design the length and proportion of the dress just works. I mean, I don't have to have mm -hmm. that dress shortened. No. Um, so first style tip I would say is that if there's a designer that you know works for your shape, look to them. Yeah, that's yeah. your go-to brand. Yeah. 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 Right. So, so this is the classic dress for the hourglass. This is how we always envision the hourglass, right? Because it, it's shaped, it accentuates the hourglass shape, it will give that hourglass shape to other shapes. And it, it looks so well proportioned, yeah. bal mm -hmm. balanced, which I is know. really, dressing your shape is all about balancing. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Exactly. The shoe here, um, good style tip again, the point here you can go with the shoe with what we call um, um, a, a low vamp, so you can see a lot of foot cleavage is always good. Mm -hmm. Yes, but here, okay, so oh, yeah. the earring, right? So you just brought your hair <laughs> back behind the ear, and that's a great style tip for everyone as well. When you're wearing that that piece of jewelry, that pearl especially, it opens up the neckline, shows off the jaw, and so everything, every part of that upper body is elongated all of a sudden. And notice how the pearl sort of brings to life your teeth and the whites of your eyes. <laughs> yes. It's almost like a light on the face. Yes, and it's a modern yes. look. Yeah, modern like look. So look you this. said, Kathy, this is something you wouldn't have gone to. Okay. This was a surprise. This is what I would call an unexpected choice for mm -hmm. me, being a petite and being an hourglass shape. I mean, I, I would not have thought about it till you encouraged me to try it on. Mm -hmm. But what, because I would think this would overwhelm me, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. No, we don't think so. We well, love it. Coming back to style personalities, you may be an hourglass, but you don't always go, want to go for that classic hourglass mm -hmm. shape. Mm -hmm. So what we've done are long, lean, vertical lines here, and this is why it works, right? So the pant, first off, is a slim leg pant. The vest is a slim leg, is a slim look as well. It's a mm -hmm. high low, which is great for petite. And then we've added color, and boy, what a color that is. Um, this is all Simply, which is a yes. Canadian-made product. You also wear a lot of Simply, Love it. Kathy, because it. it's, again, Canadian, uh, it's yep. packably perfect, it's a jersey. But look at the lines on this tunic, and like you were saying, Elaine, they know how to make a mm -hmm. garment for a woman. They nip it in here just at the bust line to yes. give you some shape. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the neckline, I find, you know, I need a little bit more opening around my face, and mm -hmm. that works, even yes. though it's a cow neck. It's mm -hmm. a cow neck, it, and it's differentiated from your bust. So nothing is crowding anything here, right? And again, it's that high-low hem that works for, again, so many body shapes. So here's me in the Eileen Fisher tank dress. The reason I went to this is, again, it is shaped for an hourglass. Okay, it's got curve. You'll see it on the hanger. There's lots of stretch to that. Too, and lots so. of stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. So it's that basic little black dress that is an essential for us, so I thought I would showcase that. Mm -hmm. Wearing it here with a booty because I can, because I'm, I am a little taller. Mm -hmm. okay. 
So here with a belt, Marlene, uh, Susie Rohrer belt. So if you want, this is one way to showcase your waist as an hourglass. Is it the best way? Is it balancing That's it? That's a good question. You look right. a little more length in the bottom than you do in the top. Right. So, so, that, so I, I wore it more to the hip. Now this is how it falls naturally. It's contoured, so it's higher at the back. Okay, it, it, it braces the small of the back and then it falls down. What I like about it, because I've got a bit of a tummy as an hourglass, is that it kind of conceals that. Yeah. It's like a ruching mm -hmm. yeah. would do, if you yeah. will. Okay, mm -hmm. so we, here I added one of my favorite new jackets. It's Frank Lyman. It's a vegan leather. Looks great from the front, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, then from the back, because it's not seamed with princess seaming at the back, it puckers at the back. I think mm -hmm. that's a problem for a lot of hourglasses. It has been for me, stopped me from wearing jean jackets forever. Mm -hmm. um, that puckering, even though it's not showing up terribly well here right. because it's black, mm -hmm. but I know exactly what you're saying and any hourglass will relate to that. Right. So again, look for a jacket with seaming and or another solution to accentuate the waistline again would be to go oh. to the same belt, mm -hmm. belt right right and it's really on trend jackets are really coming in for fall uh, so you're accentuating your waist front back and from all angles so that's very informative mm -hmm. um if you're an hourglass yeah i used to be an hourglass that morphed into an apple but tell us a few of just quick little guidelines okay if well you're an hourglass. so for an hourglass if you want to accentuate that waist again that is the your piece of gold okay if you don't want to go ahead and do free form because there are so many free i call them free form styles available in the market as well if you're looking for a garment that fit that fits really make it fit beautifully go to your seamstress and make the alterations to make it fit for you vera my seamstress yes, yes one of my favorite people <laughs> in my life and next week is the pear the pear shape yes. so if you think you're a pear shape or you know somebody make sure everybody's tuning in also if you have questions for us yes. our glasses we would love your questions and we'll be sure to answer them in the comments for you thank mm -hmm. you for joining us we'll see you next sunday Bye for, for the pear shape